What is going on everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be ripping open a box, my first box of 2023 Parkhurst Champions. They no longer make the standard Parkhurst set anymore. It's available on E-Packs, on the Upper Deck E-Packs. But no more do we have our regular Parkhurst boxes. It's kind of the way it goes. Every couple of years they switch it up, what sets they make physical and which ones they don't. This is something that was around. I don't think they've made this for a long time. I believe it's been about 10 years since Upper Deck has made this Parker's Champions. So what we will do here is we'll take a quick look at the box and see what we can get. So I believe each box you get one regular mini and one blue parallel mini. There are possibilities for autographs in this stuff. Uh, inserted, look for randomly inserted retro Parkhurst cards. This is not Connor Bedard's set. This is a brand new set. It's only been out for about a month now. But Mr. Connor Bedard is not in the set. So it would be cool if we could get a Gretzky card out of there. That would be very nice. But let's see what we have in here today. We'll go with our first pack. And this was, I should have mentioned this previously, this box was gifted to me by the amazing, incredible Julie Farnham. So huge, huge thank you to my friend Julie for giving me this box. I'm very excited to rip into this. We have Jamie Drysdale on the front. We have on the Boston Bruins, Mark McClowan. Mark McClowan, I'm not familiar with him, but he's a rookie. Um, right now, Boston actually won the last game. It looked like Florida was going to wrap up that series. But uh, there we go. That's cool. Jacob Perot, there's one of our minis. There's our first mini. Really nice. Uh, Jared McCann, who would have been great if the Leafs had kept this guy. Um, it's unfortunate. The way that um, lottery draft, not lottery draft, what is it called? Um, expansion draft went for the Maple Leafs. Didn't really go so well. Um, but you know what? I think they protected the wrong guy. They really should have kept Jared McCann, but long story short, it's over and done with now. Nothing you can do. We have Nico Heischer there, and we have Alex Kerfoot. <coughs> Strange to still see Alex Kerfoot in a Leafs uniform, but I guess this is 2023, so it makes sense. We have Philip Tomasino. Our rookie is Jack McVean on the, uh, the Arizona Coyotes, who are no longer the Arizona Coyotes. They will be the Utah something or other. I think the Utah Jazz, or not Utah Jazz, Utah Yeti is my favorite name I've heard. The Utah Black Diamonds is also a really cool name. I've heard that one bounced around. We have one of my favorite goalies right there, the Silver Parallel of Jonathan Quick, who is now with the New York Rangers. He's played really, really well this year with the Rangers, and the Rangers are rolling. Rolling right now, they did lose... The other night to the Canes, so it's now 3-2 that series. Who knows? I wouldn't be surprised if Carolina came back and took it to Game 7. But we'll see. There's a Jordan Eberle right there. So shout out to Dan from DM's Cars. I know he's a big Jordan Eberle fan. Um, we got two of these here in the same pack. That's kind of cool. One is like colored. Like this one's kind of got a sepia. I believe that's the term. Sepia. Sepia vibe going onto it. And there is Patrice Bergeron, no longer on the Bruins. He's now retired. Um, Sam Reinhardt has been unbelievable in the playoffs. He has really stepped up his game the last couple of years. He's a great player. He does everything you could ask for. He scores goals. He hits. He's all, he's all sorts of good. The Panthers look like they're rolling right now. Like I Don't get me wrong. Boston did come back. But I still think, I think Panthers are going to win that series. And I think we're going to see a Dallas and Florida Cup Final, which would be kind of cool. Then the only reason I think that would be kind of cool is because I called it before the playoffs. And I don't think I've ever actually called a Cup Finals before. So I'm sure I'll be wrong. I'm not going to put the carriage ahead of the horse here. But it's possible. We have Dylan Sandberg, rookie on the Jets. The Jets had a horrible first round in the playoffs. They were, what is on there? There's like a little, little scuffle on there. The Jets were amazing in the regular season. Speaking of the Jets, they're amazing in the regular season. And then they laid, a, laid an egg when the playoffs came around. I don't know what happened. They did not look like the same team at all. There's another one from the, uh, the Dallas Stars. Miro Heiskanen is one of the best defensemen in the league. I'm going to say top five defensemen in the league right now. 
um, but they look really good. Looks like they're. I had to pause the video because there was a, like an Amber Alert or something going off on my phone. Some test of the Emergency Ontario Alert System. I don't know what I was talking about. Something about Miro Heiskanen. We got Jamie Ben, who's been on the Stars forever. He's a great player as well. And then we have Jacob Chikrin, no longer on the Arizona Coyotes. We have two of these packs left here today, so we should still be getting. I believe we get one blue retro in each box and one regular. We got Carlson. We got a double Golden Knights, Zach Hayes, Brock Besser, uh, the Canucks and the Oilers. That's a very entertaining series right now. It's now tied 2-2. The Oilers won last night. Who knows what will be happening. I'm, I'm very bad for, hey, that's really nice. We got a legend of Patrick Waugh. Really cool. I'm really bad for filming videos and then not uploading them for a couple weeks. So hopefully what I'm talking about isn't too out of date by the time I get this uploaded. But um, yeah, it's 2-2 now. Um, what's going to happen? I don't know. The series is probably over by the time you guys are seeing this. So we can all talk about in the comments section what actually happened. Did the Oilers win? Did the Canucks win? Who knows? There's Isamont, Michael Isamont, Jordan Cairo. Jordan Binnington, who is the goalie. Yeah, we did get a blue mini. He's the goalie for Team Canada, and they got lit up the other night. They are playing Austria. They were up 5-1 in the third period, um, and Austria tied the game 6-6. They scored five goals. In the third period, Jordan Binnington looked terrible. I'm not here to rip on him. He's kind of a lunatic. He's not one of my favorite players of all. I really I don't like Jordan Binnington, to be honest with you. He's a psychopath, but he is Team Canada's goalie, so we can't trash talk him too much. Our blue mini is a Kent Johnson. That's a rookie, too. That is really nice. So we have a mini Kent Johnson rookie. That's a pretty cool one right there. He's a very good rookie for the Blue Jackets. Tara Vinen, Tage Thompson, and Jeff Skinner. So that's it. That's it. Nice quick rip there. And we have... Some Allen and Ginter to get in here, here today. We have an old school pack of 2020 Allen and Ginter. I still, I'm opening this, not knowing what I'm looking for. I haven't decided, but here we go. We have Nick Castellanos. We have Soler. We have Michael Brantley. Our mini is uh, Irquidy, a rookie of Irquidy. I'm not familiar with this guy, I don't really remember. We have a debut to remember of Will Clark. And then we have Woodruff on the back. So there's our 2020 Allen and Ginter. And now we'll get going looking for our CN Tower card, which is going to happen one day. I promise you guys will see a CN Tower card on this channel sooner or later. Still hasn't happened, but that doesn't mean that it won't. We got Rodriguez. We got Charlie Blackman. I like Charlie Blackman. Uh, oh my God, we were so close. So close. Only in Cleveland. What is that thing? I've never, never seen that before in my life. Only in Cleveland. That's Cleveland Guardians. Oh, the City Guardian. Traffic. Oh, okay, so it's a Traffic Guardian. I see. And then we have Fun in the Sun, a Parasailing. So that's going to be it for the video today. Again, big, big thank you to Julie Farnham for sending me that amazing box of cards. Thank you everyone checking out this video today. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy the polls.